Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like it o'clock. And I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom B Pile Picks Edition. And I'm going to be doing some more other kinds of videos here in the next little while. Peyton Prize. Um, Peyton the Prize. Peyton the Prize, yes. But what is his channel? Peyton on the radio. <laughs> oh, my brain sometimes don't work the way I want it to. Okay, yes, Peyton the Prize. We're going to be doing some stuff. Uh, he's done school now. Brilliant hockey mind. Love the guy. Uh, we're going to be doing some videos in the morning. Not just him. We're also going to be doing some stuff with Steel Flyers Network. The Steel Flyers Network. No, it's not an all Flyers Network. It's uh, all sports. It's just the fellow is Steel Flyers. That's who he is. And uh, he's fantastic. You might want to, you can check him out at the Steel Flyers Network. Pro Joe, Professor Joe Bork, amazing. By the way, on our Patreon, he's on a five for five run on baseball. He's just crushing it this year. Awesome. Uh, he's part, he's the B part of B pal. He's really good. Anyways, so we're going to go, what we're going to do now is we're going to, we have four games for the 30th. I want to say the 30th. Yes. Four games for the 30th we're going to be doing, and we're going to look at the games from tonight. And we're going to do that on my Patreon. Because I really want you to see. We had a really good night. That's why. And I want to show you a few things on there about how we do it over there. Uh, it, it'll give you a good idea of all the analysis and stuff that I give you about each pick and stuff like that. If you want, if you if it looks appealing to you, I'll give you a month for free. Uh, if you start now, I'll give you, I'll refund you, and then I'll refund you again for the next month. So. Uh, yeah, so it's fun. It's lots of fun. We'll go check that out. And here we're going to look at some of the fine people that chat in my, uh, in, uh, in uh, chat. I like that when you do that. So I go and I show you what people do. Ronald Sanders, he must have been busy. He usually gives me a good morning every morning. He just gives me a big thumbs up. Thumbs up, buddy. Uh, oh yeah, hit the hit if you like this, feel free to hit the like button. Makes you feel good on your insides. And subscribe. If you uh subscribe, I'll send you a My NHL Pearls Wisdom Necklace Pearlocopter to your door. Right in the backyard, maybe. Sometimes you just Melissa will just drop it down there. And then uh you just take it off and there you go. If you want your own, just go to any store that sells things, ask for their pearl necklace section, and uh, just go purchase one yourself. It's great for stocking stuff. Stop. Stocking. Stocking stuffers. Not stocking stuckers. No. It's great for that sort of thing. Just go wherever you go. Ikea, wherever. Wherever you go. Uh, okay, uh, Kenny. Kenny said Arizona got him last night. I guess so. We'll be talking about that. Was brutal. Two games are. How do you mess that up, man? It's the San Jose Sharks. Uh, Tampa Bay's first game home. I, I think I made a mistake and said it was their first game home off of a road trip. Possibly that's what Doug Reed's talking about there. Uh, maybe I did in the video. I don't know, but they weren't. And uh, it wasn't the first game home. I think that's what he was saying. And don't forget to hit the like button. Kenny R. Bringing up the valuable pearls of information right there. Absolutely. Touch that like button. All right. So that was, it was quiet chat. Everybody was all a flutter for the NFL draft, I guess, probably. That's probably it, right? Yep. Okay. So we're going to get to our picks now. You got your protractors out and your rulers and compass and liquid paper. Does anybody still use liquid paper anymore? 
Some of you don't even know what that is. Go look it up Go into Google there. Okay. Um, here we go. Winnipeg, Montreal. Winnipeg just traveled across Canada from Edmonton. Let's look at it real quick. Winnipeg, Edmonton, yeah. They played in Edmonton. No, they played home at Edmonton. So from Winnipeg to not really across Canada, actually. Winnipeg's not that far from Montreal, actually. But it's still far enough. Uh, and Montreal, what did they just do? They just did something, too. They just played. They just played. Alphabetical order. There we go. They just lost to Toronto. And now they're going to play Winnipeg before they play Ottawa. Um, I'm, a, I'm kind of at a loss at this one, but I did put Canadians' money line. I really probably would lean the under here. Winnipeg has scored like three goals so in the past four games. They could break out here. Uh, Montreal hasn't been scoring very well either. Under is probably the best play. Uh, but I'm going to leave Montreal at home for two struggling teams. The Montreal, that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> Let's go to Colorado versus San Jose. Uh, San Jose is probably feeling maybe kind of good about, for them, about themselves that they beat uh, Arizona twice. Uh, might have some flow going here, but I can't back them. Uh, one thing I like the over since we got the total out because especially if Dubnik is in, I, I heard there was some scuttlebutt that Grubauer was going to be back. If Grubauer is going to be back, we're all over this, right? Right. Uh, Grubauer has been hurt, so we're going to go look at that. going on tomorrow there uh Dubnik is projected so i don't know if Dubnik's going to be in i that's the, against his old team uh i still think they win i'm going to take colorado still going to take puck line yeah colorado puck line uh, i think they'll be pretty angry after losing to vegas they'll be looking to get their uh, their uh, angst out on someone. And San Jose seems like a really good team to do that to. Great team to bully around. Uh, puck line Colorado and over six. Los Angeles versus Anaheim. Can Los Angeles lose to Anaheim twice in a row? I'm not, I'm going to say no. So I'm going to go Los Angeles ML here. Hopefully they have Peterson in that. If they have any, they don't really have a chance to make the playoffs now after losing to Anaheim last game. But, so maybe, you know, the pressure's off. They're a young team. Just go out and play for, uh, for jobs for next year. Uh, kind of what Anaheim was doing the last time, and they won. And uh, because of that, I think Los Angeles will play loose, and uh, they'll win this game. Um, I'll probably go the under here. Yeah, under five and a half. Not much scoring in both of these teams, especially if Peterson is in. Maybe not if Quick is in, but uh, Vegas versus Arizona. Well, if Arizona can't win two twice against San Jose, then they really can't win against Vegas, right? Like Vegas is taking no prisoners right now. They don't care who you are. They don't stop playing great because you're a weak competitor. Like they don't play down to their competition. They have fun, and they really enjoy beating the crap out of teams. And look at like if you watch them on the, if you watch them on the bench, especially Stone and Pacioretty, they're like laughing the whole game, man. Just ha ha ha, we are going to destroy these guys, and it's going to be awesome. Yeah. So Arizona will probably get crushed, especially if Darcy Kemper keeps on playing the way he's playing. I'm taking Vegas PL. And 
over five and a half. Okay, so there's your picks. If you got to go, you got to go. I get it. And uh, I'll catch you tomorrow, maybe. No, tomorrow's Friday. I may not be doing picks on the weekends. If you like getting my picks on the weekends, I'll put the link, Patreon link, in the description. And you can grab that and you can get picks on the weekends. And like I said, you get a month for free. So that'll almost be the whole rest of the season, pretty much. Uh, the thing about that, if you do that, I would highly recommend you don't leave because ne every year I do raise the prices on these, uh, raise the prices on this. But if you stick until the next year, and we have tennis picks, football, baseball, we have that great, good, really good cappers there. Just hockey is my specialty, but we have really good cappers there to, for those things as well. But if you stay till next hockey season, you'll never get, you'll never have to get, I'll never raise your rates. You understand? So you'll be able to stick there. We have guys that they're for when we first started that are paying like five bucks a month. So, okay, off you go then. Let's go to talking about that Patreon. I'm going to take a look. We're going to look at it, our picks from the Patreon uh, site. This is the Patreon site. Look at I got a UFC picks video from Ranch from uh, uh, Capper Comparison Picks. I do UFC. We do very well. He's really cool. He has, just like it sounds, he does videos on a whole bunch of cappers, and he shows you what their picks are and stuff like that, so you can compare picks for UFC. He also does a live thing Saturday mornings. It's pretty cool. Highly recommend you check him out. Uh, Panthers BS versus Blackhawks. Under six and a half. I don't know why I just went medium on this. I should have went hard, but we had under six and a half. And uh, we took the Blackhawks plus one and a half. What was the score for that? You ask? Here it is. Four, three. And what did we have? Under six and oh, you know what? We didn't get that. Oh shoot, I didn't get that. It went over. <laughs> oh, I'm all I'm all uh it did end up going over six and a half. Crap. Okay, so we lost two on that one. I did have the puck line. I uh I did have the puck line on the Blackhawks to cover it a little bit, but I thought we had that one. Oh well. Oilers versus Flames under six. We had that for medium pearls. And uh, I had Flames cheesy bet. I should have just took the Flames. I don't know why I went puck line for one pearl. So we made like half a unit, half a pearl on that. And about, you know, a pearl and a half. So about two, two pearls on that. Covers our last one that I didn't even realize we lost on. Uh, Diamondbacks, this is our baseball he, like I said, five in a row. I think that should go over. Um, Lightning versus Stars ML pays 157 and under five and a half. We hit that all day. Uh, now, let me see here. This should be one where I give you, yes. We had Leafs in reg, which we got. I'm, I should have PL'd that because I was really confident about it. And over six, which I don't think hit. No, it was 4-1. So we had, just for small though, the big one was uh, medium pearls. So we made a unit on that. But this is what I give you. Both teams are on our backside of a back-to-back. -back. Vancouver has played three in the last four games though. And Toronto did have some rest before that. Vancouver looks completely gassed. I give you that every day. When I do that, by the way, can you see this? Oh, there, see, that's what I did. I got to make sure you can see that. Anyways, okay, let's go to the next one. Uh, 
Rangers over Islanders, we did not get that. And we did not get the under either. Oh, yeah, we did get the under. It was under, right? Yes, it was under. We got the under. And well, we didn't get the we had the I had the Rangers. I thought the Rangers were gonna take that. And let's make sure you guys can see that all right. Yeah. Rangers over Islanders, ML pays. Yeah, I'll just keep on going like this. Uh Flyers versus Devils over six was my pick of the night. This was a five banger, five units, at least five pearls on this pick. Nailed it. Devils over Flyers ML. Nailed it. Got that one. Killer. Uh, we hit that big. And Hurricanes over Red Wings in reg. Got it. Under five and a half. Got it. For one year, for one pearl. Making huge money. Sabres versus Bruins. Sabres versus Bruins. This is a tennis pick that we got too, Jaron. I hit hard on tennis. Hard. Making money. If you're not making money on other things, tennis, just throw, throw a pearl on every tennis pick I do, and you will be up money in the long run quite a bit. Quite a bit. Uh, Sabres versus Bruins under five and a half. Uh, which was not, we didn't get that, and we didn't get the Sabres. I, I took the Sabres puck line because the Bruins, it was the first game back off a road trip, and I I suppose I should have took Boston and Reg. I just felt like the Sabres would be able to keep it close, and you're getting 225 just to keep it close, and the Sabres have been playing all right. Took a shot at it, didn't get it. That's all right. Can't get them all. Uh, I think that was it. Yes. And we also had, I don't have it here, but on the video, we had uh, the we had the Blues PL and over, I believe. All in all, we're up for sure all day. No doubt about that. So that's what we do for Patreon. I should, all of those ones I showed you, I write up analysis stuff report and you can take a every day I give you an analysis for the reason why you do your pick. So even if you don't take my picks, you can work with other great cappers out there and there are really good ones. The uh the ice guys are good. Uh what's his name? Uh Best Bet Ed. I find him really good. Use us all. And uh if you're on here if you're paying for the service you'll get an analysis every day and you can compare it to other people or maybe it wakes you up to something go oh yeah maybe you're right and also do that in the comment section tell me what you're picking tell me what you think for tomorrow tell me if you disagree with me or agree with me or everything i always chat down there i love it so i'd love to hear from you down there that's my full 42 boys and girls that's all i got to give today possibly see you tomorrow if i'm feeling it Possibly not. If not, Monday I'll be going back to videos again. Have a great day. Okay. Bye.